Well, I have to say I don't watch any television, but I've seen some really good science fiction and I read about it. I think it's tremendous because it makes you think about some of the wonderful creativity of the natural world and also the creativity of human beings. We all wonder what's out there. Where did life come from? Where is it going? And science fiction is the way to tap into that wonder and give it to everybody. Uh, I mean, I think when uh, one is uh, a child, uh, is really fascinated by, by science in general because maybe uh, the child doesn't understand uh, the real mechanism underlying uh, what uh, is actually seeing and all the phenomena and so on. Uh, and then the important thing is that when uh, children grow up, uh, they need to start understanding and so they need to uh, become familiar with, uh, um, with science, with, with all the natural phenomena and so on. Well, I won't say I'm not the biggest fan of the Big Bang Theory, the TV oh. show. <laughs> not because, it, uh, yes, I know, I know it's a very popular one. I think my problem with it is that it, um, it tends to push some stereotypes. Now, on one hand, I like the fact that there are sciences on the staff of the writing that are doing the good work. And I actually have seen that a lot of younger generations have been inspired by it. So for that reason, I am okay with it. It's just me, my older, maybe more cynical perspective. But in general, I'm a huge sci-fi fan. And I love Doctor Who. I watched a lot of time travel shows. And uh, long story short, I did not think I'd ever be a scientist. And now that I am, I have this you know, like elaborate fantasy that one day I'll get to be a superhero. Or like <laughs> that something will go wrong in the lab and I'll get to get powers or maybe not wrong in a, in a safe way. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm a huge science fiction fan. I think, if anything, it inspires us to reach beyond the, the tangible. Because I think I love to watch classic Star Trek episodes and there's so much technology that we actually have now that's like that. And it's crazy to think that if you're a scientist with the idea and the means and the education, you could actually bring a cool idea to life. Like um, even in Quantum Leap, another one of my favorite sci-fi shows, he's got this little smartphone thing called Ziggy and he just was like, according to Ziggy and so, I always think that now we have those, <laughs> except for the time travel part, but one day. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. Um, what would you say that we can do better? Okay. Uh, I like science fiction. The, the, the most, uh, my favorite one is written by the Chinese author, I think. Maybe you know the Three Body. You don't know? Oh. It's, uh, it's talking about the, uh, the one day that some aliens contact people on the Earth. And then we have some wars between the Earth and the other planets, something like that. And a good, I think a good science fiction can uh, stimulate people's imagination, can tell people that how, what can science do? And maybe some of the hypotheses, some of the dreams in the science fiction become true. And that is already happened. So the uh, mobile phones, the smartphones, and uh, the, uh, the display technology we are using. So that appears many years ago in the science fiction, in the, science, in the film, and now they become true. So, yeah, so I think a good science fiction, not just only to, to, uh, to tell some fancy stories, that is one part. 